Hi, I'm Kari and I'm a STEM teacher at the elementary level and I was using Zoom and we're now using Teams and for more reviews like this, click below. These products obviously solve um, issues for when we had to transition to distance learning. It was huge. Um, we are still using them for our large group meetings as staff or when we can't physically get together um, for meetings as specialist teams. Um, so we use the software a lot for meetings and with our students if they end up distance learning or need to call into school um, when they're at home. And then we also are using them for parent-teacher conferences or any other big gatherings um, that need to be presented virtually online instead of in person when it's come to that. I would say Microsoft Teams is best for collaborative work um, and our like smaller staff meetings when we're working together. There's just a lot more features on it. Like we really like that there's the chat feature and that you can do collaboration work on documents. Um, it just has a lot more collaborative features for our team meetings. Zoom has probably been best for using with our families for parent-teacher conferences just because I feel like um, we can set up our own room link and can change the security settings and I feel like more families have been more familiar with Zoom. Um, but then also Zoom has also been great for if we have large meetings for like our whole school. So instead of like smaller meetings it has worked well for like the large meetings when there's like a hundred plus people um, that have to tune into a presentation. Um, with Zoom, surprisingly, there's a lot more of a learning curve. I would say it, the hardest part about Zoom was figuring out where everything was located and the settings and doing audio and connecting it to different boards. It was actually a lot more confusing than I feel like it should be. Um, once you got the hang of it, though, it wasn't too bad. But since we're working with so many students and parents um, and grandparents, it, the learning curve was hard and like some people not always knowing how to access the links and how to get into the call. Um, so there is a, definitely a big learning curve when we first started using Zoom. When looking for this type of software, we really want it to be able to be easily shareable with our students and our families so that they can easily find it, um, click link and that they're in and that security settings can be easily set um, at a school. Having high security and things is really, really important. Um, and also being able to break out into small groups and collaborative work when we have our students on the call. Um, and so it's also really important if it can be integrated with other apps and being able to screen share and record the meeting um, all those things are super important when we're looking at video conferencing software.